Hey guys, this is Monica at Academic Phoenix Plus, and today is going to be another tutorial on common mistakes beginning 3D artists make when they're UV mapping. In this tutorial, we're going to be going over fixing and UV mapping a easel. All right, let's go ahead and get started. I think you did a really nice job on the model. I'm taking a look at your UVs, and uh, I can see that it's still in the default, and it's not really going to be helpful when you try to texture. Let's say, for example, this is my cube. This is just a default cube, and you can see how much similarities they share. Uh, you just have to make sure that you UV map your object. So I'm going to show you a quick way to uh, UV map this so you can kind of get an idea. First of all, I'm impressed that you managed to extrude this object, the canvas. I probably would have suggested to maybe make it into a separate object, so I'm going to make it a little bit easier to UV map. And uh, these are separate, usually, so let's go ahead and make a selection. I'm going to go ahead and, whoop, where to go? Grab these faces. Kind of hard to see what's going on. Oh, wow. I'm impressed. They're all connected. Might have been easier just to make, keep it one separate piece for just the canvas. Um, okay, since it's really attached, I'm just going to leave it. All right, let's see if I can do this. I'm going to go to my UV editing. I'm going to take a look at this object and. Um, well, this is usually made out of just cubes, so I'll just go ahead and start selecting anything that's facing one particular direction. So in this case, it's going to be a X, and so if you look over here, it's an X. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and select anything that's facing this direction, and also the opposite direction. So I'm going to make my selections. There you go. Not so much at top just yet, or the bottom. All right, so then I'm going to go to UV map, planar mapping options. I'm going to choose X because that's where we were looking at. Apply. And then I'm going to move them to the side. Now these are overlapped, so you can see that there's purple. So I'm going to go ahead and select one UV. Control. I'm sorry. Right click UV. Click on one. Control. Right click to UV. Move it to the side. You see how that's uh red that means that it's going backwards so let's go ahead and flip I'm going to click this flip again one UV control right click to shell move that one's okay control right click to shell flip and I missed something so let's see which one I missed Oop. let's see to shell I think I grabbed something all together Let's see which one is it. All right, there it is. I'm going to grab these faces here. And I might as well just grab these guys as well because they belong together. Apply. Move it to the side. And they're blue, so that's good. All right, I'm going to grab this side next. Grab these faces here. Let's double click. Whoops. To shift double click. Shift double click. It doesn't work. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Alright, so this is the Z. So we're going to go to Z, apply, move it aside. So I can see I might have selected some things that I wasn't supposed to, so I'm going to deselect that. Deselect this one too. Deselect the top and bottom so it doesn't confuse anybody. Apply. Move to the side. Oh, missed one. Which one did I miss? Must have been here. Apply. I have something else. I can tell. Deselect that one. Apply. I just wanted nice and normal like that. I can tell I'm still missing something. Oh boy. It's in there. Real. Okay, I'll fix that in a minute. Okay. All sorts of fun stuff is going on here. Let's see. Click, click, double click. There we go. Deselect this. Deselect that. Deselect that. Deselect this. I just want the back and front of the poles. Apply, 
I what should do it alright so one UV right click UV control right click to show move it aside this one needs to be flipped flip select this one to show move it aside flip alright everything's in blue nice okay moving on I'm gonna select no, I'm gonna do something crazy I'm gonna grab these faces here And I'm also going to select the ones that got UV mapped by accident. So I don't want to do that. I'm going to select these guys here. And all right. We have a UV map automatic. And usually automatic does exactly that, which is lots of little pieces, but I'm going to see if I can sew them together. Okay. Let's find out where these go. So this is this edge here. And I'm going to close this. I'm going to stitch and sew together. I'm going to grab this edge here and I'm going to stitch together. So what I'm trying to avoid is all these pieces. It's going to be really hard to texture. So then I'm going to move these up higher so they're aligned. There we go. Okay. Then there's a back piece. So let's grab this edge and you can see this is going to be the back. So I'm going to go ahead and stitch together as well. And I can grab UVs. And um, I can actually go ahead and uh, straighten them out so it looks nice and organized. All right, let's see what else we have. We probably have a bottom. Let's grab these. You can see where it's whoops. You can see where it's going to sew. So it's just stitched together. This is going to connect there. We don't want to stitch these guys together because then it's going to like break so we're just gonna leave it and these guys are together too so if I try to stitch and sew it's gonna break it so we'll just leave it however there's a couple of edges here that I can move and sew so I'm gonna go ahead and grab these these as well well actually maybe not that one and then stitch and sew to show just move it out of the way alright let's see what these guys are these guys are at the bottom, so go ahead and stitch those. Maybe there's a bottom here. Yep. Don't want to move those, but there is a top, so you might as well stitch those together. Not that one. Stitch together. Okay, what are these guys? These guys fall in the back, so we might as well go ahead and sew them. So stitch and stitch. So I'm, again, my goal is to try to get this to uh, to have as little seams as possible, right? The, the less seams it has, the easier it's going to be to texture this. So I'm trying to get them as much together as possible. And it's just sticks practice, just like anything else. All right, let's see what we have here. I'm gonna stitch these together, and I'm going to guess these go up here too. Yep, stitch together. All right, so now I got a bunch of pieces. Let's take a look at how we can sew these guys. Let's go ahead and grab. Let's see what happens. Okay, not bad. I'll just leave it. All right, let's grab these edges. Whee! Whoa! UV to show. All right, let's see where these guys go. Uh, well, you might as well go here. I'm gonna deselect these. I don't wanna. I just want them to connect over here and deselect that edge. Okay, let's go ahead and stitch. And we'll do the same thing here. Okay, leave that there. Stitch. Whoops. Get over that. Select that, stitch, and there we go. All right, now time to put in the zero to one space so everything's going to fit in here. I'm going to put that here, rotate this, move it here, grab these guys.
All right, let's take a look at the texture. So the key is to try to get the texture to be the same size. And you can see that these textures uh, for the woods actually to the grid's not the same size as the paint. So we can give it more texture information by making it bigger. But I'm also running out of space. So I might have to like rotate these so there's more space for them. Those are a couple little tweaks, little things you can do to uh, to make sure everything fits. And there you go. So that is a nice UV space. You would grab this face here and uh, assign your. Whoops, I must have grabbed the back. But uh, you can grab that face right here, and as you can see in your UV space, you would put your texture here for the painting, and the wood should fall nice along these places, and you should be good to go. All right, don't forget to delete your history. Edit, delete by type history. Well, I hope that was helpful. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Also, leave your comments at the bottom, and I look forward to seeing your work. I will.